On these trips, you get to see miracles in a way that you don't usually get to see them here in the West. It's not uncommon to see somebody who's been paralyzed in an arm their entire life to be able to move their arm after one of these mission trips with the students praying for them. And you can see a miracle take place because after two to three weeks, people are willing to give their lives to Christ and to give up in 30 years of entirely different religion, not even knowing about Christ. And it's amazing to see that miracle in their lives, and that gives me hope that that miracle can take place in my life as well. The biggest way that these trips have affected my life personally is helping me to understand the reality of the great controversy and that good and evil God and Satan are battling for every single soul. Seeing those people as their hearts are one and their hearts are brought over to Christ and they're understanding God's love for them for the first time and seeing that and seeing the results and the baptisms that we were able to witness. That was one of the biggest impacts on my life and things that I was able to experience on these mission trips. The trip I went on changed me because it really gave me a passion for mission work. I loved the whole thing and being able to go out there and preach and then see people get baptized and really see God working completely in the trip was just amazing for me and it made me passionate about that and made me realize I wanted to do a lot more of that. I hadn't really been raised Adventist. I did go to an Adventist school, but I didn't really know like what we believed a whole lot. And so when I was a junior in high school and I went to India, I was going to be preaching. And as I was studying in order to preach, I realized that I was learning a lot of things for myself about God and about the Bible and know that the Bible is true. And I just didn't really know that stuff before. And that was really cool for me. I think the trip changed my life in a lot of ways. I was able to spend time with Jesus there in ways that I had never done. I remember just standing in the foothills every night, and I remember connecting with Jesus, and I just heard him saying, you're going to be a pastor. Now I'm a pastor, and I really base a lot of the reason why on God speaking to me through that trip. And after I finished my first one, I just knew I have to do another one there. And it's just kind of been this, I don't know, whirlwind that I've gotten caught up in. And I just love being able to go out and help. And it's just gone to the point where I've been able to not only be a participant, but now I'm able to kind of coordinate. And that's kind of helped also push me towards, I was just got back from being an SM in Ponape, Micronesia for an entire year. Um, definitely, I would credit that to being able to go on my first mission trip with Sunnydale. I 100% feel changed. I think that having one taste of that mission trip gave me a taste for more. And God had called me to go out there and do that. So once I saw a bit of that, I'm like, man, Lord, you know, there's like so many more countries that need this. Like, where else do you want me to go? So since then, I've did one other mission trip. And then I just got back from a year long mission trip in, in Colombia and in Medellin. And then once I graduate, I want to be a long term missionary. And by long term, I mean five to 10 years. I really want to get out there. We have such a huge need and a lot of people need to hear the word of God and that Jesus is coming back soon. The mission trips that I went on it changed my focus in life. Uh, it really opened my eyes to the world of missions and how important it is to spread the gospel. I originally went over to Beirut, Lebanon uh, just to learn the language and to travel around. But once I got there, I had the opportunity to work with some refugees. I taught English down at a refugee school. And to be able to witness to kids who have come from nothing and who left everything, it was powerful to see the way that God was able to use me. And Ultimately, that started from going on these mission trips with Sunnydale because of the mission focus that the Sunnydale's mission trips gave me. After graduating from Sunnydale and going on the mission trips that they had, I just couldn't get enough. And so I knew that I wanted to do more mission trips, do something uh, while in college. Uh, just this past year, uh, through Union College, I went to the small tropical island of Pompeii in Micronesia and I taught high school Bible 
at their Adventist school. And that trip, just like the Sunnydale trip, brought back that feeling of the love for evangelism and mission work in foreign countries. And it made me realize once again how there truly is a need to hear about Jesus all over the world. This trip that I just got back from has just been another stepping stone to hopefully a future filled with more trips. When you are in a place that you have to rely on God fully, 100%, you see Him show up in such real and powerful ways, and you are watching for how He's answering your prayers. And I am so thankful for Sunnydale Academy, which gave me the experience to go and to preach an evangelistic series. You know, I gave a call at the end of the meetings for people to give their heart to Jesus, but I also remember that night standing there, deciding in my own heart, I want to serve God with all my heart. I want to be His. I want to follow Him. And as you preach about God and you share what He did for us, it does something in your own heart. God works on your own heart and the Holy Spirit touches your own heart. If you're considering going on a mission trip, 100% do everything in your ability to go. You absolutely should do it. More than any other activity that I had at Sunnydale, mission trips is what I will forever remember and what, through high school, influenced my future more than anything else. After going on the SAA mission trip in Tanzania, I have not stopped and it has given me such a drive to serve God and that's one thing that I want to do for the rest of my life. If you're considering helping someone go on a mission trip, I tell you 100% do it. Um, if they have anywhere near the experience that I had, I can guarantee to you that it's going to start something inside of them that will not be able to be stopped. It could potentially be the best experience or best choice you ever make. My name is Edilberto Jimenez and I graduated from Sunnydale in 2015. My time at Sunnydale was very memorable to me and it was there that I decided to lead a life of service and to walk with Christ. The video you just viewed was created for phase two of the Funding the Mission campaign, which is a campaign for student financial scholarship. We have completed our goals for phase one and started working on goals for phase two. We have two objectives for phase two, to raise $700,000 and to increase the campaign participants to 1,000. Our bigger goal for phase two is to allow every student that wants to be at Sunnydale to be there and to give every student that has the desire the same opportunities that I had. You can help us meet our goals by contributing to the Student Financial Scholarship Campaign. Follow the steps on the screen to give a gift. Please know that your prayers for the students, their parents, and the faculty will be very welcome and appreciated by the Sunnydale family.